Oh, got him. Oh, that might be a bass. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be the old large mouth. All right, y'all, we're on day two. Into the evening yesterday, but a grassy pocket didn't really catch him. And uh, got together with one of my local buds here last night talking fishing. He got to talking about crappie and the bass that live in the crappie piles right now. Got me very excited. Good morning, sunshine. Is this the uh, Tacladic Fishing Services? Guide Services. Hold on, I'll connect you one moment. <laughs> Y'all gonna get shiners or are you going jigs? Oh no, we're jigging it up. We've got we've got some some stuff that they ain't they ain't seen yet. Got ourselves a local guide lined up. Ready to go stick some crappie in the face. The last time I crappie fished out here with Shane, with uh, Stephanie came with me, and she hooked a crappie and an eight pound plus largemouth ate it while she was reeling it in. Like we almost got it to the boat where we could net it and it spit it out just before we get that it, so they're living together. Let's go see what the high seas have to say. You think they'd like to fish out here? <laughs> they, have, they must be biting, because they're all here. <clears throat> this, is, this is nuts. This is just one of those places you go, and you realize that bass fishing is it is the culture. It is the life. It's the lifeblood of the community over here. Love to see it. However, uh, means there's going to be a lot of lures being flung today. There's a tournament going on. It's a TTZ tournament. Um, our buddies are fishing it. Me and Matt are just practicing for a tournament that we're having a month out from now. Uh, my buddy, my buddy Shane, he's going to join us tomorrow uh, for another video. So we're gonna, he's going to hang on for a crappie mission. Today we're focusing a little more on bass, but if we see a giant pile with a bunch of heads in it that need to be thrown in a cooler, we're not gonna turn it down. But I like the conditions, they're changing. This might help a little moving bait bite, kind of what we experienced yesterday and I caught that four pounder. So let's go see if we can get some bass on the line. Beaching in over here? Just having a little beach party? Oh. I was on the beach a second ago. Many, many tournament days have begun right here, just as today is no different. We're about an hour late for takeoff. We're gonna go fish a different part of the lake today, y'all. You're good? Mm. Oh yeah, y'all already know what it is. A little sausage, egg, and cheese. Stopped at that little Valero stop next to the stump this morning. Holler back if you know about it. Get that with a little cup of coffee. Yes, sir. You'll see if we can find a bass during a, you know, probably 300 boats on this lake right now for tournaments. Uh, Makes it, you know, just makes it challenging. But I also figured for pre-fishing, you just see where everybody's fishing. I have a feeling a month from now it's gonna be completely different. It's gonna be 30 degrees cooler, I'm sure. Speaking of cool weather, super, mega, ultra, Guggen, thread, sale, cyber month. I don't know what the official name is, we have brand new merchandise coming to the scene, including this amazing vest. Everything I've got on, basically. And uh, just got our hands on it. Manager Matt said there is no Christmas bonuses this year if we don't sell out of apparel. And we don't have that much because supply chain. Supply chain. Just like everything else these days, month of November, buy as much merch as you possibly can or uh, 
Matt can't feed his kids. <laughs> yeah, send help. Coffee chug. Let's get it, dude. Not that one bite my worm, I guess. Reach for a little, a little beefy here. Probably crop. crappie. Yeah. Go, yep, got him. There he is. Crappie on. First guess. Okay. Found a crappie hole. That's a big one. <clears throat> Might need to put it on ice. That one was on the chubby grubby. Chubby, chubby grubby. Yeah, well, I got it. I got it. We'll well him. Add him to the uh, to the call. That's a bass. Is it in bass territory? I thought that was kind of bassy. Large mouth. Small large mouth. Oh, there's another one coming. Come on. Come on. I think they're largies. Spot a bass. Oh, that's another large mouth. These things would probably destroy a jerk bait over in the top of them. Crank bait on them or Future share locker. They've come in here and they've disturbed this crappie nest. They've run my little my buddies out. But... Oh, right there. That's where they are. That is got, where... got him. Right away. Literally saw them on live scope. Whoa, that's a that's good, a good one. fish. Wow. Good fish. I was thinking these were like one pounders. No, that's just a group of rogue. Bit. Oh my gosh. Big group, dude. Good fish. I need to put this down. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Man. There you go, bud. Oh yeah, we're cranking in four pounders. Oh my gosh. Should we enter the derby right now? Home? Should we go? Oh, look at that little. He is fatty. He is a fatty. Look at that fish, man. Jerk bait. I'm trying to get out there and get more because there's a lot more actually. Um, oh, I got. Oh, I just got mega bumped. I'm on. Oh, I come off. Dude, we are talking absolutely on him right here. Didn't even hit God, I just got hammered again. Dude, that's a big boy. Nice, that was a solid three and a half. Uh, dude, look, look in front of that tree now. It's just, it's mayhem. You definitely got one of the bigger units, but oh my gosh, look at the crappie. Look at the crappie. Thunderstruck there for a minute. We're pulling them towards us now. A lot of them are spotted bass. I pulled them under the boat. Saw him coming up. Get your bait. There you go. Keeper. Quite possibly a keeper. There we go, bud. There we go. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Come on, crappie rod.
Oh, got one on me. He come up and got it. Not the same size. I definitely think you got the biggest one. Like there were spotted bass and these little largemouth and then that was free. Yeah, we might need to crank this point a little bit. A little bit more thorough. Oh man. Yeah, I keep I keep moving them out. I'm gonna grab a worm. Oh come on. I got the tree. Oh, I got a fish. Okay, y'all. Got to love it, baby. Oh, got him. Oh, that might be a bass. Mm-hmm. That's going to be the old largemouth. Got him on that crop pole, son. Come here. Man, we're catching a largemouth here today. It's like no spotted bass. That's that same school, Matt. So, I don't think any of these are crappie. Hit me on the swim in. Oh man, it just screams. Give me a jerk bait in the grill. Like, would you please put that jerk bait in my here he comes? Got him. Hooked up. Watched him come up and grab it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, boy. Just clapping cheeks out here. He's been caught before. Something that happens when you uh, move or when you throw at a school of fish like that is they tend to come towards you. So you have to deal with the fish migrating on us. But I'll tell you what, these guys right here, just those guys hovering couple of two pounders in there. Matt obviously caught one that was high threes, maybe a four. Chunk. Not a bad little deal. That's a good time in there. That's a party. There we go. I have just I have just stirred them up. Stirred up the nest. They were they were excited about Ooh, that. Oh look at that. Oh fish on. Got him. Well we got a puller. Go. I might have popped out of this one though. That's what I do with the deal. Oh, yeah. Keeper though, maybe. Yeah, he's about hooked, but he's. Is that a white bass? Giants! <laughs> they have them in here. We've been looking for them. Yeah. That's a giant white bass. But everything else was largemouth that we hooked. Do you want, do you want it's a big boy. Them? No, I don't need that one. Just the crappies. Wow, this is like the tree of life down here. Everything's in it. Cooler, please. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Okay. New jig heads, dangle dart. Double up. All right, hung up. Oh, excuse me. Bringing them in. Mm hmm. We'll charge it up. times out here on the lake and we just found a really good spot it's awesome you know we're not fishing the tournament together no. so we may have to talk about this spot it becomes a player uh a month from now you know that thing was loaded with fish y'all there were so many bass on it i thought they were crappie it turns out they were bass and they had moved up on this point in like 15 to 18 foot of water. 
and we would run a bait through them, you know, catch one, and they'd kind of pull the school off, and then they'd come back around, we'd catch them again, they, they'd pull off, and you just let them settle back down for a couple minutes, and then they're ready to eat again. But all the other fish that we've seen around points today, they've been off the point, and they're just kind of like in a digesting mode, and they're just kind of hovering, they're not feeding. When you see them, up on a point on the on the shallower side uh that's usually a good indicator that that they're feeding they're they're close to the bottom or they're just up on top of it suspended instead of being suspended off of it those are the really really tough ones to catch they're usually not feeding when that's happening so we found one point that was good there is thousands of points out here on big sam and what i love about this lake is you have the opportunity to catch really nice crappie, bass of a lifetime. Uh, there's white bass in here, I didn't even realize that. Um, but you can, those two main species that I love to catch, you can just do them both interminglingly. I always carry uh, crappie rods with me, you know, when I'm bass fishing. That way I can kind of go in between. Tomorrow we're gonna dedicate uh, a cooler mission, a meat haul. But today we're just we're poking around, pre-fishing for the tournament, you know, catching some crappie. But honestly, if you go crappie fishing, you usually find bass. Big crappie poppies. Somewhere on this lake right now, our partners, our buddies are out there fishing. They've got a two-day championship tournament right now, and I hope they've got them. My boy MK Ultra is up here just summoning them from the deeps. Now we're gonna we're gonna find the right wad here in a minute. Oh, you know what that actually looks like? Is it looks like somebody planted a uh, a floating. Look at this thing. is the most stuff I've seen. There's a rogue four pounder. Look at these, big boy, big boy. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mark that, little area. See, I like that because they're kind of up up on top. That 15 foot. Oh my gosh, this absolutely billy clubbed. Go ahead. 10 incher. That's a that's a yellow bass. That's a yellow bass there. Yellow bass eating a yellow bass. Colored spoon. Big or tall, we catch them all here. Oh, getting a bite. First dragon bite we've seen. Yeah. Just there they go. They're right there. Oh, shoot. They're right in front of the boat. I got one. Oh, come off. Had the tail of my worm. Oh, he came and got it. Oh, and I got lost him. <laughs> what it came up with? Come on, come on. Snatching them. Come on now. There he is. Get back. That better one. There you go. Large mouth. Buddy, don't uh, don't show that one off too much. Spooted boss. Just locked him up, man. He's like stiff as a board. Well, yeah, we just uh, I ran out of SD card space on my on my GoPro, but caught a few more on a long extended point, and if I got shad on them. Just get out that crankbait. I've been throwing a spoon, uh, letting Matt do a lot of the cranking, but it's it's hitting the bottom, right? Like oh, yeah. grinding the bottom, and then that's when we're getting bit and. Same thing as the other points you've noticed, those fish will like pull off in schools and then you'll have to kind of re reposition the boat, cast out again and get them. 
That's fun times, y'all. A lot of spotted bass. Matt caught one there that was like two and three quarter pounds. Nice, nice keeper bass. Um, and I've got five crappies in the live well, so. Heck of a day. Heck of a day out here on Big Sam. Uh, we gotta, we gotta make a little decision here, bud. We got some stuff coming. I think we've, we've heard them all right today. I'm not that mad at them. I think we can call it, call it a pretty good dangle. It was a good dangle. We caught a lot of fish. It, you did really well. <laughs> you know, it was nice to come to a lake to catch some fish. Like, it's been a bit, been a minute. A giant lake. A too. giant lake. Yeah. All right, y'all just got back to the house and just storing the bodies in the cooler. Caught some great crappie. Most of our crappie were uh, the black crappie. We had one white crappie. This is what we're going after tomorrow. White crappie, black crappie, all intermingled here at the uh, the great big Sam Rayburn. Beautiful fish. Those are going to eat great. And we're going to add to that bounty for tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys for tuning in. And good luck in all of your outdoor adventures. Godspeed. I'll see you soon.